Good day everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to optimize Windows 11 for gaming and for the fast performance in 2023. So after applying all the solutions that I'm going to share in this video, I'm very positive that you will find a great change. So before starting, I would request you that please consider subscribing to the channel. It's absolutely free. And we will also create a restore point so that if anything goes wrong or if you want to change your mind in future, then you can quickly revert the action. So on your Windows 11 search box, you have to click and type restore. From the suggestion, choose create a restore point. At the bottom, you will find create. Click on create. Give it a name like Windows 11 Gaming Optimization. Now this name can be anything that help you to know that when exactly and for what purpose you created this restore point. Once done, you have to click on create and this will take some time and your restore point will be created. Now let's move with the solution. So make sure that you do not skip any part. Apply all the setting very carefully and I'm very sure that you will find the changes on your computer. The very first thing that you have to do, you need to disable the memory integrity. Click on your search box, type here core isolation. From the suggestion, click on core isolation. And now here you will find an option of memory integrity. So what you can do, you can disable this option. Again, click on your search box, type here appwiz.cpl. From the suggestion, click on appways.cpl. Here from the left hand menu option, click on turn windows feature on or off. And here you have to look for an option virtual machine platform so keep scrolling down until you find virtual machine platform once you get it make sure that this box has been unchecked okay and then you have to click on ok and now you can close it now your windows 11 search box you have to make a right click on it and then click on settings from the left hand menu option click on system now here click on notifications and just disable all this notification from here then go back now click on focus disable this option as well then go back again and here you will find another option of multitasking click on it disable it go back and then you will find nearby sharing you have to disable this make sure that this option has been turned off go back and then from the left menu option only you have to click on personalization and here you will find the option of colors click on it then you will find transparency effects you have to disable this option then go back and from the left hand menu option only now click on apps here click on installed apps now look for all the application here that you don't need you don't use or you don't identify so look for the application click on the three dot at the right side of it and then click on uninstall all right so similarly you have to look for the other application from the list here and whichever you don't need, you don't require, you don't use, you have to uninstall it. Then again, from the left hand menu, you have to click on the gaming section. Then click on Xbox Game Bar. You have to disable this option. Go back. Then click on Game Mode. And make sure that this Game Mode option has been enabled. Now from the left hand menu option only, click on Privacy and Security. Then click on General. Make sure that these all options are being uh, disabled. Again, go back. Now click on speech. Disable this option. Then we have inking and typing personalization. You have to disable this. Diagnostic and feedback. Location. You have to disable location. Camera, microphone, voice activation. If you don't need it, then you have to disable it. Scroll down and disable the option like email. If you don't need email services, the default application, then you have to disable it. Then we have calendar, phone call, call history, messaging, radios. You have to disable all these options. All right. So once you are done, you can close it. Now we will be running some kind of tweak on your Windows 11. So click on your Windows 11 search box. Type here PowerShell. You will be getting Windows PowerShell. Make a right click on it and choose run as administrator. Then click on yes. The black or blue window will be coming up. Now here you have to type a command that will be getting in the description. You can copy from there and paste here. Once pasted, you have to hit on enter. And you will be getting such kind of page CTT and then it will be asking for the permission. Are you sure you want to proceed? So you have to press the Y key 
and then hit enter again and another box will be coming up and a new box will be coming up by Chris Titus Tech Windows Utility created by him so the credit goes to him now once you come here uh, you have to go and check back some Microsoft tools here so if you do not have .NET and Visual C++ installed on your Windows 11 so make sure that you check these options and then click on start install and this will be installing these all application on your computer all right so once you are done from the top in menu option you have to click on tweaks and depending that if you are using desktop or laptop then you have to choose the options here let's say i'm using desktop so i will click on desktop and now this will recommend me to do something so like a restoring point run oh shut up disable telemetry so this will automatically check some of the tweaks after doing this you have to click on run tweak this will be running in the background so you can minimize it meanwhile we can proceed with the next step now right click on your windows 11 icon then choose device manager the device manager will be up now here you scroll down a bit and you have to double click on system devices and here you need to look for high precision event timer once you get it make a right click on it and choose disable device so once it disabled you have to close it again click on your windows 11 search box type here sysdm.cpl hit enter the advanced system properties will be up now here you have to click on advanced then click on settings under performance and here choose the option of adjust for best performance and then you have to check the box of show thumbnail instead of icons then check smooth edges for screen font and then smooth scroll list boxes then click on apply then click on ok click on ok again again click on the search box type ms config and from the suggestion choose system configuration now here click on the boot section then click on advanced options and here check the box of number of processors and from the drop down choose the highest value that you get in the box and then click on ok now check this option of no GUI boot then click on apply and then click on ok and now it will ask you to restart so kindly go with exit without restart because we have to do some more settings now you can also see tweaks are finished now so you can click on ok now click on search box again type here storage from the suggestion choose storage settings and now here it will be calculating all kind of temporary file installed applications so you can see that in the temporary file it says around 1.34 gigabyte and on your end it can be much more so you have to click on temporary file and it will show you the kind of temporary file like windows update cleanup previous windows which exactly you don't need then you have recycled bin if you don't need it then you have to check this option system recovery log file download if you don't need download then you have to check this option as well and then finally you have to click on remove file so what will happen that this will be uh, creating a lot of storage on your computer that will be surely improving the performance of your pc and laptop once you are done you have to go back again and make sure this storage sense option has been enabled and now you can close it so after applying all these solution kindly make a restart and after that check back i'm very sure that you will be having a great performance your pc will be performing very fast so that's all guys for today's video and if you found this helpful please consider subscribing to the channel for any question any doubt let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video Bye bye